Hey, Russell here, Bell and Circuit. Today we're gonna break down the beat that we made a couple of weeks ago. This one involves some slow jam. Slow jam. That everyone seemed to be pretty excited about. So I'll show you what I did and how I made it. As always, the full beat will be on my SoundCloud account. Link in the description. Please let me know uh, what you think. If you have questions, let's talk. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So the drums in this track are just hits that I sampled off of records. As you can see. And I just played them in along with the beats and then adjusted as necessary. So there's swing maintained to go along with the beats. Uh, that was more important than making sure everything was quantized and on the grid. Although I did move stuff around um, somewhat, as you can see here, stuff is just swung off the grid slightly. Or here. Um, I also have this hi-hat going pretty much throughout the song, um, and that gives a sort of a framework for the beat and allowed me to play around with it more. So, for example, I ended up playing this really sort of open beat with a lot of empty spaces in it um, because the hi-hat was going and was able to sort of maintain that forward momentum. So stuff like this section. So there are these big open spaces in there because I was just kind of playing what I felt and then moving stuff around till it seemed to work with the beat, uh, with, the, with the sample. Obviously this sample has drums in it. Or some percussion anyway. So I was able to, again, just sort of play around um, with that. And then when we get to the next section, the slow jam, the slow jam section. The slow jam section. I basically took the same sort of open beat and added in extra hits to make it a little more um, coherent. I don't know. Sounds pretty good. One interesting thing here is that uh, I have a, a sample called, I guess I called it Cut Up, but it was basically just a bunch of random noises as I was moving the needle around trying to find the right sample, but I ended up using it, so this is what happens. <laughs> So I pushed and pulled, stretched it, got it in time, adjusted some of the levels throughout the sample as you can see here. 
I'm in, I'm trying to edit out some of the egregious pops and then increase the volume at the end, which because it was very quiet. And so you get this weird kind of glitchy thing, which ended up being really cool in context. Um, And then let's see, we did some chops. Um, so I had a piano sample that I liked, but I just couldn't get to work with the beat. And so I ended up chopping it. I, oh, I actually only used two. Uh, anyway, the chop is this. So, pretty simple. Kind of breaks at weird spots, but again, I played it in so that it would go with the beat and adjusted as needed. The other place where we used chops was for the slow jam. Slow jam. And uh, the slow jam sample itself is this. So I basically took that sample into the sampler and then chopped it up while the original sample was playing, which I don't know why I decided to do that, but it turned out pretty cool. So this original sample and the chops go something like this. So I guess it's just some sort of weird glitchy delay is the impression that it gives. So that's the chop. The other was called smooth, I guess. I'm pretty sure I've heard this sampled somewhere before, but I can't think where. Um, Gil Scott Heron, maybe? If anyone knows, let me know. The last major element is this vocal sample that came from a funk record. I layered that with this. I layered that with this New Age Harpist. Let me turn that off because I got a copyright strike on the first video. So together, there's kind of a call and response with this harp and then the vocal. And so you get something like this. super well and I went with it. So that's really all there was to it. Um, and you get this full beat which ended up being pretty cool. Let me know if you have questions. As always, the full 
beat will be on my SoundCloud link in the description. Please comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Uh, let's talk about it. Okay. Until next time. <laughs>